when I graduated, I decided I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do, and I wanted to have a specific career path, because I'd been in the workforce long enough before I went back to school to realize you need to have a focus. You need to figure out what you wanted to do so you could build some expertise and get the right jobs to work your way up in whatever industry that you were in. And so I sat down and was thinking about what appealed to me. I liked the research and analysis. I thought about going into the stock market world and analyzing uh, as a broker uh, or an analyst in that world. I didn't like the fact that it, there were too many variables and it's hard to make predictions uh, in, in when it comes to stocks and those type of things. And at the time, I was reading Adam Smith's The Wealth of Nations, which talks about the fundamental uh, wealth of a society being in its land and those improvements on those land. Uh, and I decided I really liked real estate and real estate development. A lot of money in that field. I was tired of being broke. Um, and I also had some things I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to have some resources so I could do some things um, besides just business. So I decided I wanted to go into real estate and I wanted to eventually become a developer, but you don't just decide one day to be a developer and go do it. It's not, well, you do. Some people do it and they go bankrupt. Um, <laughs> but actually, it's a, it's a very complicated world. And so first I went to work for the Martins Companies, which is the largest commercial appraisal firm in Wichita. Uh, worked there, started out as a researcher, very little pay, but I was there to, to learn and, and get, gain a foothold in the real estate industry and eventually, in a pretty short period of time, became uh, the assistant to the senior appraiser. And while I was doing appraisals there, I, we started appraising a new hotel chain called Value Place. Started by a guy named Jack DeBoer who started Residence Inn, Candlewood Suites, Summerfield Suites, and the Value Place is his most recent uh, hotel chain that he started uh, about six years ago. Um, I was very fascinated by the model. Uh, we were appraising, we were appraising uh, more and more of these hotels so they could get the financing. None had been built at that time. And I met Jack one day and told him how fascinated I was with his model. And he invited me out and introduced me to a couple people and offered me a job. Mm -hmm. And so I, I started there where there was about a half a dozen people. I shared a cubicle with the controller, and I was the first researcher. And over the next couple of years, we built a very large research and analysis department with about a dozen research assistants. Uh, and at one point, we were doing such a large volume of these projects, we had, in one year, we worked on 100 <coughs> hotels across the United States. So a uh, very great place to really take things to the next level with research and analysis when it came to real estate uh, development. Um, after that, I decided I'd try to go out on my own a little bit by doing a little bit of real estate development. I started off just flipping houses. A friend of mine had come to me and said, hey, I'm in the public finance world, and I've got some investors, and..." You know, I think maybe I'd like to try flipping some houses. Do you know anything about that? And I said, no, but I bet you I could figure it out pretty quick. And so he raised a half a million dollars, and we started flipping about three houses at a time, 100-year-old houses in the older neighborhood of town. If you're familiar with Wichita, College Hill was one of the main neighborhoods we were in. Um, and so got my feet wet with that, but then realized that my good buddy, who's still a good friend of mine to this day, we weren't the best business partners. It's a life lesson some people learn. Uh, so I just... I, I, at the time, the head of the WSU Center for Real Estate had come to me and said, I'm a one-man show at the Center for Real Estate when it comes to research, but I'd like to do a lot more. I'm not funded by tuition dollars, but you can help me write a business plan and try to build a research department for the WSU Center for Real Estate. So that was a perfect excuse to get out of my business relationship. <laughs> so I accepted and went and built the, uh, I went and created this position and uh, got it all set up and took the appointment for the first uh, year as the WSU Center for Real Estate's research analyst. <coughs> so that was a great opportunity for me to uh, have gone from working to getting an education to then going in, into the real world and applying it and then going back to the university because at the university I didn't study real estate. I was studying philosophy and sociology. Okay. So I went back and through the opportunity of working with students in the student group and helping teach classes and those types <coughs> of things really got to see real estate development from the academic side which kind of gave me a well-rounded uh, background uh, in, from an academic and research perspective on real estate development.